Hi guys, before we get into the video, did you manage to check out the link for your pop-up poster? I received my poster and it's a must-have if you're an Arsenal fan and it's available all around the world. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to do the instant match reaction of the first half of Arsenal Lille Olympiacos Nil and hopefully the Gunners will be able to regroup and play much better in the second half because for me it was a very boring first half. There were chances here and there which I'm going to talk about right now. So we're going to first talk about is the Nicola Pepe chance and he was close to the first Arsenal goal because he had that chance where he went through the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper was megged and it hit the outside of the post and I think that was one clear-cut chance the Gunners had but they weren't able to capitalise on that situation and hopefully the Gunners will be able to perform much better like this in these scenarios because when it comes to Nicola Pepe for the first half in my opinion I think he was very sluggish and you can clearly see that him and Hector Bellerin don't work well together but when it comes to the second half we don't know what happened so far but when it comes to the first half we see that Nicola Pepe has struggled with Hector Bellerin behind him and it looked like he wasn't getting chances and he was really frustrated when he was not getting the ball as well. So he could have put that chance away but it was unlucky because he hit the wrong side of the post but the Gunners kept on moving. And when it comes to the next situation which I was really annoyed with was big chance for El Arabi to score the first goal for Olympiacos because I thought Arsenal was sleeping because it was just a goal kick from the keeper. He kicked it, went past the halfway line. And you see David Luiz putting his hand up, saying it's offside. You see Gabriel Magalhaes just sleeping behind. All the fullbacks, they're not even concentrating. And El Arabi was true on goal. And luckily for the Gunners, he wasn't able to capitalise on that situation. And it was a really big save from Bert Leno. Because if they scored a goal at that instance, Arsenal will be shivering. And when it comes to Arsenal, when they score a goal, their confidence becomes really low in just one second. There's no confidence. And the game could have literally been 1-2 in just 2 minutes. And luckily, El Arabi didn't score that goal. But that was not poor from a prolific striker such as El Arabi. And the same could be said about Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang because straight after that, literally 2-3 minutes after, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang had a big chance. It was a lovely pass from Danny Sabayos in my opinion. It was a lovely through ball to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And when it comes to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, you're meant to have take that chance. It was a nice shot, but he hits it over the bar and it was just a lot of power. He tried to use his outside of the foot, but it looked at like a topo in the end. So next time, hopefully, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in the second half will be able to and be more, more vote, motivated and hopefully get a goal and prove Mikel Arteta that he still deserves a starting place at this team as Mikel Arteta did him dirty last time around when it was against Tottenham Hotspur and hopefully Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang will get that goal against Olympiacos and to sum it up all I think it was a decent half for Mikel Arteta if it was his plan to make sure that um, the team stays behind, they don't concede a goal, which was one positive. And the next positive is that they didn't make no sloppy errors, which led to another goal. And they kept their head, heads high when they had that chance and they regrouped straight away and had that chance for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, which he should have converted. But the game was really boring, in my opinion, but I think that will suit Mikel Arteta. But for me, I'm really worried about the second half because Olympiacos can score three, four goals in literally two minutes as we suffered it last time in the round of 32. So hopefully Olympiacos will not be able to gain no momentum. Hopefully the Gunners will be able to come back faster in the second half of the game and go with much more momentum, much more pace and much more directness when it comes to the play so other than that guys this is just the first instant reaction to the first half of the game but other than that guys remain blessed stay tuned for the next video and peace